Hello everyone and welcome to another game of A Song of Ice and Fire Miniatures coming at you from me and Ben on a snoozy weekend during the <laughs> lockdown. Welcome Ben. That's how it goes, right? Yes, yes. It's not the same as playing in person. <laughs> yeah, because this would be weird in person. <laughs> this is this is what we've got. So, uh, Ben, what have you yeah. brought with you? I've got um, the Clegane boys. I've gone theme again, Cleganes. We've got the mountain, leading unit of halberdiers. Cause he, Very cool. He turns them into Clegane boys. We've got two units of actual Clegane boys here, who are big, burly mountain men. We've got um, one unit of crossbows, because I always like to have a bit of shootings. And then we've got yeah. the hound leading the hounds. Um, oh, right. So you've got Cl Sandal Clegane in the in the Bolton Bastards girls. So yeah. these are the guys that could shoot and charge. That's right. Um, but normally, they're very strong. Normally they're House Bolton neutral units, but Sandal Clegane makes any unit he joined turn into a Clegane unit. So these are right. These are hound hounds. I see the hounds hounds. It's so very cool. Everything in the army counts as house Clegane now, except for the crossbowmen, which is relevant because when the mountains your commander, you get a load of cards that only affect Clegane units. Right, and so the Clegane units are Cleganes. The, the mountains men, but then he turns the halberdiers into Cleganes, and the hound turns the dogs into Cleganes. So okay, these crossbowmen are the only, the only weirdos. And having the halberdiers are good. Sundering, they've got eight dice um, at two, both ranks. Also, you can't mm. charge them in the front, yeah. which is obviously relevant. If you when you're going up against an entirely horse-based oh, army. Oh, God. You're not going to be charging <laughs> anything in the front, are you? <laughs> so I've got two units of horse archers and three units of screamers. Screamers, The geez. Dothraki have landed... They're going to do a blind charge into wow. the darkness. They've crossed and the salted sea on the giant wooden boats, um, horses. Giant wooden horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I've got Carl Drogo leading my team. Wow. Um, so he's he's quite good, but and and um, and he'll be he'll be fine. I've also got uh, Daenerys and uh, Illyrio on the side. So it's basically the start set. I'm basically playing okay. with the Game of Thrones Targaryen start set. Um, times two. <laughs> right, to get the extra extra cav in. Yeah, because the start set starts with four sets, and so you need an extra One start extra set box. to get these, these, these extra guys. Um, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm excited. Cool. Let's, oh my let's God, do it, all man. cav army, I'm a bit spooked. I have no cav. I was going to well, bring we some... don't know what the scenario is going to be like yet, because the, honestly, <laughs> it's true. so wild. Some of these scenarios <laughs> can completely break the oh game. Oh my God. I well, wonder if we should like find a scenario that we're comfortable with because some of these are so odd. Well, if we get one um, that we think is going to be really one-sided, like last time, we'll just re-roll it. This is awful. Okay. This one, this one me and Duncan did. Whenever a unit dies, mm -hmm. um, it can come back. <laughs> so, and of course, the objectives were in the middle. So Duncan would just bring it back and charge it to the objective again. Wow! But um, then, if you're bringing on slow infantry, that's not very helpful. But bringing on fast no. cav. Very good. But Duncan maybe played that smartly. Uh, this is this is the secret missions one. Mm. I quite like I quite like the secret missions one. Um, what do you feel? I I, I, I did shuffle them. I've never played the secret missions one, so I don't know. You tell me. Okay, dark wings, dark words. It seems like a very popular scenario, so let's just go with that. Okay. So Ben, uh, draw some lines. You need we need to have six inch deployment zones. We need to have. Uh, the uh, the objective being in the center. How do I draw this the line? This is very nice. Like I can. Uh, you get the draw line tool. Uh, yeah. Ooh, and then you can just draw draw a line. Do, do, tabletop do, sim. Do, do, do. This would be really nice to have on in the real game. Oh god, wouldn't you know? it? Being able to just be like super accurately place objectives. When um, Alex used to run a game shop, what he had was yeah. a bunch of um, like four foot. Inch inch wide, four foot long wooden sticks that he painted bright red, and um, you could just put those down on the table and be like, "Bam, that's your deployment zone." Or if you're splitting a big table into two so more people can play, to put that down the middle, and it was like super effective. Those are those are 
things that a pro, a real gamer yeah. develops. Alex is kind of this tech guy, right? So he'll play a game. Mm-hmm. Some people will like start making spreadsheets. They'll be like, oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. so this thing has soldering, and therefore it's, it's harder with against these types. Yeah, of my units. analysis proves that this unit is one half a point under costed. Exactly, that stuff's very useful for mm. some people. Other people realize that that. The, the spreadsheets does not win games. It's all about positional play. Mm. And so they do a lot of very careful measurements. Some people you play against will be like, okay, this is exactly 8.7 away from here. So that means <laughs> uh, I can make a charge with minus one. Do, some I've people met, are calculators. I met a guy, right, back in um, in old Warhammer days, maybe like 6th edition, I can't remember. You used to have to guess... You, you have to guess how far you were firing your war engine. So you'd be like, okay, uh, this stone thrower is going to shoot that unit over there. I think it's 42 inches. And then you'd measure 42 inches, and that's where your shot would land. And so, oh, wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you had to be really <laughs> okay. good at judging distances. And I knew this wow. guy who was such a tool. He would basically he'd measured from his elbow to his um, wrist. And he'd measured <laughs> from his wrist to the end of his um, finger. And he'd like <laughs> lean down on the table and like go, hmm, put his arm down and be like, hmm, I wonder how far that is and move his arm and then would stick his finger out and be like, hmm, okay, I'm going to guess 32.5 inches. <laughs> <laughs> you, you massive dick. <laughs> <laughs> that is a that is a legitimate way to play. Is it? I mean, just th- get the tape measure out at that point. I mean, <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's so that's cheating. funny. You're, I like that. You're that's that's not that's not cheating. In these, the, got every small advantage, Ben. <laughs> Um, you've got to train yourself for these games. Yeah, yeah. You could, measuring yeah. your own body parts. If you know yourself and know your enemy in a thousand game battles, you will never lose or something. That's exactly. A, that's a quote. Uh, so, do, uh, t- uh, how much terrain do you want? Um, we can do a random amount. Sure. Uh, uh, which is four pieces. Mm-hmm. If we roll a dice, we get to um, decide who goes first. But we can either have random terrain or picked terrain. What would you prefer? Uh, whatever. Picked. Because that's okay. quicker, right? Sure, you pick a piece. Okay. Um, you pick a, pick a piece. Uh, will, where I are the also. terrains? They are all oh, along they're here. All along so here forest they? stakes, low wall hedge, palisade, bog, corpse piles. Sure. Um, yeah, all um, sorts of good stuff. Well, corpse pile, it's a whole lot of fun. Prize is going to be won. are really not fun. <laughs> they're the best. What do you mean? Everyone loves a corpse oh, pile. Oh, sh- shit, actually, we need to do the objectives first. Sorry, oh, okay. do the corpse pile in a second. Um, sure. You get, you get to place an objective first. So do that instead. There you go. Um, right, you have to place them six inches away from an existing object. How many do we do? Uh, five, um, I think. Roll those also, up. placing objectives. So it just says. Wow. Okay. Just says. Um, I think, I think how far do five. they have to be? They need to be six inches, Ben, from deployment zones and other objectives. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Don't know which side I'm going to be on, so I guess we'll just like stick one in the middle. Yeah, uh, we'll put one over over here. There. And I'll mirror that. Oh my god! What is this? What is this horrible mess that you've got here? <laughs> Uh, I'll put one, I'll put one, oh gosh, it's, it's now, this is the, this is the odd one. No, it I'll can go one. like, here? Yeah? And yeah, it's I all mirrored, go... right? No, I don't want a mirror, that would be weird, I want it to go there. Okay. I want it to go there. All right, I'm putting this corpse pile here, boom. Uh, all right, uh, I'll put a tree down to counter it. Um, over here. Bam. And corpse pile. Uh, I love a good corpse pile. Jesus. They're the best. When you abso- corpse piles are not the best. When you absolutely <laughs> do not want to get flank charged, except nothing less Turned than Turned out that placing pile. random terrain was um, a terrible, terrible idea. <laughs> Uh, sure. Let's put another blessing tree down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Battle of the Werewoods. 
Perfect. Yeah. There's trees in the middle, corpse piles on the edge. All right, now you can do... Uh, now we now we roll off to see... Oh, no. But uh, before deployment, draw s three secret missions and reveal them. Okay. So the secret missions are here. All right. You ready? Yeah. Bam. Score this when you destroy the enemy commander. Bam. Ooh. Take one victory point if you control both the letters and horses zones at the mm. end of the round. If you control both, score three points. Bam. Until the round, end of the round, friendly objectives, of you, it's controlling objectives, make forfeit actions they would make to oh, get its dead score one victory that's point. That's a big one. But we can't do any of these turn one, right? So, in fact, this is amazing for me because... I can use my free manoeuvre as one, and then my ah, action as one. You're kidding. So I can get double points. Yeah, you're for right. That. Jeez. But you don't get points for round one. So yeah. it's a shame we drew that this early. Because I'm going to get rid of that uh, <laughs> really quickly. Yeah. So at the end of the round, after scoring, the first player draws one new secret mission and replaces one open secret mission with it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think actually you do get victory points round one on this one because it doesn't say not really? to. Really? I think the, so, the main rulebook says you don't, though, right? Yeah, but it oh, normally yeah. says on these scenarios if you don't. Uh, see, look, scoring starting with the round two. You see this? Oh. So most of these scenarios actually tell you if you can do it straight away. But I'm I'm up for leaving it for round two if you want to. Um, just gonna, it's not going to make a difference. I'm look in it the does rules. say we have to get two extra victory points to win this mode, and victory through combat is ignored. Oh, so okay, sure. Well, so if the only have... way to get points is through these secret missions. Yeah. All right. Hmm. What do you want? Which um, one do? Let me just check the the book. Okay, sec. Ben's going to look well, in the Let's do rule. it right. Whatever the, the rules are, that's what we'll do. Uh, okay. It's probably right at the end, isn't it? Okay, didn't mention anything about it, yeah. So yeah, the uh, the following rules apply to all game modes, and it doesn't mention not being able to get them on turn one. So that must be a specific scenario rule. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Cool. Uh, not that they're super, super relevant. Um, oh, you're pretty fast. You can probably get onto one of these. Maybe. Um, maybe. Plus, you know, it makes letters and horses very important. They're already very yeah. important in um, on turn one. Mm. Yeah, they are. All right. Um, you have to move entirely onto an objective to claim it. All right. Are you ready to go? So now we roll off to see who decides which side they want, which is obviously quite important. Four. Six. six. Which, do you want to pick the side or do you want to let me pick the side? Uh, if you let me pick the side, you can pick who goes first and who deploys first. Ooh, okay. Well, I desperately need to get rid of that objective. That's my most important thing. So when is that got rid of? Uh, at the first, at the end of the first turn. And it's the first player who gets to do it? Yeah. Okay, I'll be first player then. So I can right, just get so rid of that, that straight means... away. So that means I have to that deploy first and pick table edge, right? Um, would um, if you want to deploy, if you want to pick who first player is, you have to choose for me to deploy. Um, to choose for me to pick the table edge. Oh, okay, cool. Let's do that then. You pick. Sure. I. They are literally mirrored. We actually ended up pretty much making. <laughs> Apart from, I will pick your side. Okay. Because uh, I have to. So, bam! Here we are. I swap sides with you. Ah, how did you do that? With the new terrain swap sides option. Ooh. Uh, so there you go. I've readied the terrain and objectives as well, so it should all be glued down. Cool. We can get rid of all these lines as well. Oh, shit. Oh. Except we still need the deployment zones. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, crap. Is it six right. inches? Yeah, there's yeah. a little line there. Oh, wow. I've drawn a wonky line. Whoops. <laughs> That's all right. It's close enough. Uh, there you go. 
Thank you. Okay. So, uh, since I picked first, uh, you get to choose who deploys first. But I think it's it's me, actually. It's me who deploys first. So, I guess I'll deploy um, some outriders, some of my archer boys, right in the middle here, like this. Mm hmm yeah, some outriders in the middle. Mm. Bam. Your go. Okay. I will get some man mountain mountain boys going up the flank. Boom. Battle ready. Cool. I'll put my uh, some screamers, some cavalry right next to these guys here. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Um, Very strategic. Okay, we've got crossbowmen's over here. Okie doke. I'll put my other screamers here. Battle ready. Sure. Okay, um... We'll have more mountain men's right here in the middle. Okay, I'll put my other outriders here. Cool. Uh, pikes, or halberds rather, over here. Sure. Um, and I'll put Carl Drogo over here mm -hmm. on the far, the far flank. Fight some dags. Do you like dags? Yeah, I love dogs. I love I love the dogs. Perfect. So yeah, two units of ranged, and I've got two units of ranged. Quite a lot of archers. Yeah, okay. it's a shitty this, heavy game. This goes, but there's obviously no value for holding objectives once that card's gone. So. It's all about getting these other ones. But there will be. There will be more cards. Who's that your want commander? Objectives. It's by the, the way. mountain in the halberds. Yeah. Oh, really? He's your actual full commander? Yeah. Okay. He's going to be a hard one to kill. Come mm. get him. In the front, please. Yeah. That's where he wants you to get him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so draw three cards. Um, um, bam, bam, bam. Two, three. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's let's begin. Um, you go first. Um, okay, three of my cards. One sec. Hmm. Right. Well, turn one. I guess I grab letters uh, with Pycelle. Sure. Boop. So Pycelle lets me weaken one of your guys. So let's um, let's do uh, these guys. Oh yeah, sure. Um, okay. And then when he draw, when he picks letters, he can draw two cards, and he can put another condition token on another unit. So I'll weaken another, the other unit of archers. Um, oh wow. Yeah, he's very. He sent saboteurs off to like go and uh, make all your arrows rubbish. You know, you've had very weakened. He's burnt all your feathers supplies, so now your arrows feel, don't have any flights on them. I feel weakened right now. Um, uh, okay. Okay. Um, and that's that's all I got. Oh, now I and I get a victory point, right? Because I do. Um, oh no! End of the round. Right. Cool. You'll go. Oh, yeah, and I need to get... What's the other one? I need to get letters uh, and horses. horses yeah. Sure, let's take Daenerys on to... Oh, maybe we'll take Illyrio onto the horses. I'm not sure who I want to make go extra fast yet. Um, Just do a free move. Although she does give an extra inch to her move, so maybe I should give it to my archer boys, since they might... It will give you a more awkward experience. Mm. Um, 
What's their move at the moment? So their move is regularly six. So if I go six plus a free move, and then I can grab this objective, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then get get sneak a cheeky victory point off of you. Sure. Let's put. Um, let's do it with Daenerys then. Let's do it with Daenerys on the free move. We'll make these guys a little bit move a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. And then we'll move them for get do the free move move seven. Um, people are going to think I'm cheating, but it's not. It's not the case. <laughs> it's all legit. It's all legitimate strats. Okay. Uh, that means it's your go, Ben. Hmm. Um. Are they close to that corpse pile? Not yet. Not yet. They ain't. Um. Should have put them on my side. Uh, hmm. 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 Okay. Let's. Some deep but, strats. Yeah, the deepest of strats. I'm going to move the mountain up. Um, he's going to run straight forward, 10 inches. Rawr. Is that his march? March, move. Boom. Very cool. Um, yeah. Let's move my horses up then, I think. Um... I know that your crossbows can shoot 12. Yeah, they uh, shouldn't be able they, to get you this they, turn. They can move 10. So if they put him here, and then you can shoot 12, plus a 2-inch shift. Mm -hmm. So I kind of can't really go... You don't want to go past that beyond, forest, really. Beyond here. Which is nice to know. Um, so I guess I'll just move up these screamers to where they can... Uh, where they can do that because they can move further than they see. They could move into range by accident. Mm. And I don't. I don't want to get them into trouble immediately. I could easily move them. In fact, because they can do a free move, so they could even go here. Yeah, we'll so then we'll move six. So you could go eighteen very far. if you really wanted to. Yeah. If you're going full steam ahead, but it's just. I could. I could just take the free attack, and that way it would stop you from doing the attack, and then I could do other stuff. But. I don't know. Um, how far do I need to go to shoot at you? Is the question. So I need I need to be able to get. You need to get within uh, these nine. Are short range. So, but they can shift forward three. So I need to be within so you nine. Need to move to here. Plus, they get their seven inch move. So, yeah. So they they they're pretty close to being able to to get you. Hmm. Um. So maybe I will just do that. Maybe I'll just do get you. Oh. Let's just let's just let's just let's just oh no, I can't do that. That doesn't actually work. I had a I had a plan, but it doesn't actually work. <laughs> oh, okay, sure. <laughs> um Yeah, but we can we can we can continue to think about it. Let's let's this oh, this is the problem with this cavalry army. It's very maneuverable, but at the same time very very fragile yeah you don't um, want to move it wrong and get it all killed nothing has a better than a five up save and the, the these guys have a six up save so they are paper thin mm. um and you've got two archer units which i really really don't want to get free shot by <laughs> um so i think probably i need to just march these guys up so these guys can't get shot so these guys 10 as well with the two inch shift and long range so that puts it like on the same level as this tree all right so i'll march up to an area where i can't get shot which mm -hmm. i assume is here cool um we're going to assume that that is far enough back that you can't you can't get me okay yeah, it gives me give me an extra inch on it just in case. Yeah, a bit of safety one inch. or some some bull, bullshit. Bullshit. Okay, right, done. Mountains men are go. 
Okay, sure. I guess I can do these guys in the same way. Um, that looks fairly safe to me. Cool, yep. Job done. Uh, what does Carl Drago do? Um, Carl Drago, he gives vulnerable on mm -hmm. charges. Oh, and swords. Oh, and if he gets charge. targeted by swords, he gets a free charge. Ooh. Yeah. Instead of instead of a free attack. Okay. That's very strong. Um. Right. Well, we'll move these mountains men up. Sure. Um, and then we'll give them a little pivot. Um. Okay, and I think we'll um, move our outriders up, march these guys up there. They're reasonable distance to not get shot at, uh, which is here, I think. Okay, you'll go. Um, <laughs> let's move the crossbowmen up. Charge him up, 10. Oh, back a bit. And then pivot. Mm. Pivot! Pivot! Done. All right. Cool. And then uh, I guess we can... I think we should probably um, we'll probably what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Illyrio, we'll put him on the free attack, but mm -hmm. we're gonna use it as make a free maneuver. Um, and until the end of the round, if I charge you, you get panicked and vulnerable, your choice. Um, oh. but I'm not gonna take you through those. Um, so we'll move up our our seven with a free move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can't quite go on this thing. We can go here, though. All right, you'll go. So that's not their activation, still. Right. They haven't actually had a go yet. They've just had been poked twice by non-combat units. Just been, they've just done two free moves, yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, Cersei's going to hit them with the crown, the she has no confidence in them. She's been bad mouthing them at court. They feel real sad. A crown of fear. So there you go. Um, Have a minus three, mor minus four morale check. There you go. Failed. How about that? Uh, their morale is normally six, so they needed a ten, which is unlikely to happen when they're near this corpse pile. Mm. But that's fine. All right. Uh. My go. Yep. I think I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna uh, shift and shift and plink. I okay, think. Okay. Before you do anything, I'm gonna give them a paid mutiny. Oh no! They must pass a morale test, or they lose all abilities until the end of the round and suffer D3 wounds. Oh no! And they got minus three out. to that morale check. Oh, they failed. D3 wounds, that's two, I guess. I just rolled the D3 with it. Mm -hmm. Bam. Okay, They've some of them are mutineered, which is bad. Didn't want didn't want that to happen. Um, and they have uh, no, no special rules. If you control money bags, which you don't. No, I don't. So you're they lose all abilities. Yeah. So they can't shift, I guess. I think it's only the attachments that lose the abilities, actually. Uh, my first morale check or its attachments lose all abilities. So yeah, just pretend you don't have um, whatever it's called. Nimble. Out, Outrider Co. with the mark target power. He's right. He's paid off. Oh yeah. S where's where does this what's 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 your card again? Paid mutiny. Yeah, it's it? down Sorry. by my deck over here. Oh, its attachments lose abilities. Mm -hmm. Right. So I can't vulnerable you. Yeah, but everything else works. Sure. Um, 
let's do our free maneuver then, which is the pivot, mm -hmm. I guess, and I guess I want to pivot so I can like be walking over this bit. Am I going to be able to get in range for you here? Yeah, for sure. So then I move forwards um, to onto this objective, which is sort of pointless because you're going to remove the ability for me to claim it next turn. Yeah, and then I'll yeah I'll shift. I'll just go attack you. Fuck it. Let's just move into short range. Mm -hmm. So we'll move to six inches, sure. which is about here. Shoot you, and then shift three inches back afterwards. Cool. Um, so let's let's shoot you with with seven dice before these guys all explode into just dust. Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bam! That is. What are they looking for? Three. Quite a few hits. Yeah, five, six hits. Ouch. Uh... Oh my god. Let's do um Wealth of the Rock plus one armor save. Oh right. Okay. Um Oh you can't do that. You have to roll it before you you have to do that before you roll your defense dice. You can't do it after you've rolled your defense dice. After oh after attack dice are rolled. Oh. You're cheating. I'm cheating. Also, you, cheating. you forgot to make me roll my weakened. Do you want me to roll my weakened? Oh, attack? yes, of course I do. That's why I put weakened on them. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's, right. let's, let's start. You made again. a mistake. I made a mistake. <laughs> right. So only uh, four hits. Four hits. Okay. And now you have to. You can use your card. Um, I still think I want to. Because you haven't to. rolled your defense dice. Yeah, let's, um, let's do that. Thank you. Um, All right. Wealth of the Rock. There you go. Oh, hang on. Plus one to defense oh, saves. I didn't even roll these yet. Right. Boop, 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 boop. One dies. Right. That's that's better than a million dying. Which is a morale check. Um, yeah. At plus one. Ah, uh, they pass. All right. Cool. And then I get to shift three inches backwards. One, two, whatever, whatever three is. Can't quite see. That's the um. Quite, quite see. Oh, there we go. The markers are behind us. Why? There you go. All right, hmm. I'm here. Cool. Job done. Uh, yeah. So that's these guys' activation. Oh, whoops. Um, which just means I've got the dags. Oh, we're definitely going to be too far away, aren't we? Um, but if I stop like 14 away from you, then I can shoot you next turn, I guess. That's the plan. Um, so let's move to. Yeah, that'll do. Get a little bit closer for safety. Okay. Okay. I think you've just got your last unit. Yeah, I have. Um, and I don't know where I want it to go. I feel like these guys... I feel like some of my guys might get deleted. Um... And I don't really want to give you more targets on this side. Uh, so I could either I could either mess you around and just keep you distracted, hmm. um, keep you keep you guessing. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we'll we'll pivot this way. Um, we'll get our free six-inch move, which puts me like here. And then I'll do my march over to this side. Nice. And stay, stay back behind the the uh, the fourteen inch mm -hmm. range. Not that you'll be able to see me there. But right. There we go. I put myself put myself here. Oh, those melee's boys as well. Tricky. Cool. Okay. Uh, that's them. A little bit of a flank for you to worry about. Yeah. Yeah. Any more? Uh, no, we're all done, I think. Right, okay. 
Uh, that is the end of the round. We each get one victory point. Boop. 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 You get one for the yeah. for the envelope. Round I get two. one for the thing. You become first player. So you home. get to change up. So you get to draw, we get to draw a new secret objective. Yeah, I'm going to um, get rid of that the amazing one for you. So this can go in the bin. The the bonus victory points one. Sure. And then we get um, this one, which is. Uh, score this machine if an enemy is panicked, vulnerable, and weakened at the end of the round. Oh. Panicked, vulnerable, and weakened. Yeah, oh, that's a tough one to get. Yeah, it's not. It's not the easiest. Um. Right. Okay. So I start right. Mm hmm. Um. Well, oh, hold on, cards. Um, oh yeah, need to draw more cards. Do I want to chuck either of these cards? No, I'll keep. I'll keep both. Bit weird. Bit weird choice. I'm gonna get rid of all mine. Are you? Oh my god. Yeah, not super helpful. Um. Okay, three new cards. Let me just read them. Okay. And unactivate everyone. Cool. Turn two. Right. I think I need to start by... Um, oh... I don't want you to get a free. I don't want you to get any free attacks. On you, right? <laughs> yeah, you're paranoid so, by getting shot. Either I, either I take the free attack straight away mm -hmm. and end up just moving forward a little bit and moving back a little bit, mm -hmm. which means I do get shot. Yeah. Um, but I won't get shot and charged. And these guys are not so bad if they can't shoot and charge me. Mm -hmm. um, however, then you might, if I take the free attack, you might take the free move, move up a little bit. And then, but then I've got you in the. I've got a bit of defense here. It's okay. Sure. Let's just not overthink this. <laughs> okay. And we'll just take the free charge to free attack to stop you taking the free attack. Yeah. Um, and we will shoot you again. Okay. So they're just going to shoot shimmy forward, happens. shoot, and then shimmy back. So let's not even bother. Yeah. Moving. So they end up exactly where they are. Cool. Um, let's do a roll. Bam. So I get five hits. Ow. Okay, um, I will play another Wealth of the Rock. Boom. Oh, nice. Um, so you're saving on threes? Yeah. I'm surprised the Halberdiers don't have a stronger save. Well, they don't have shields. That's true. Um, oh, didn't help. Three die. Ouch. Um, panic at plus one. Oh, I think they fail. Oh no, they passed just. Ooh, that was close. That tree. Yeah. That tree. The happy, happy Shouldn't tree. Have played the tree. That would be four dead. Jeez. Hold! There's the mountain in there All just right. like throttling them, saying, if anyone flees, I'll kill you myself. <laughs> yeah, the mountain is a scary man. All right. Uh, what you got? Mm. Um. I, I'm going to hit those archers with um, Scary Cersei again. Okay, straight away, Scary Cersei hitting some archers. Fair enough. Uh, they've failed abysmally and Oof. take two injuries. Okay. Oh, um, and I'm going to play Hear Me Roar. Um, you also become panicked. Oh, wow. Boop. Okay. So that should have been before I rolled, but yeah, um, that's okay. Yeah, it doesn't affect anything. I just wanted the panic token. It doesn't, right. doesn't affect anything, um, but it, I, I'm just even more scared now. Um, even more scared, especially because if, if these guys then get shot again, they could get uh, wiped. which they will be imminently, they're then likely to fail the panic and die. So let's put... 
Uh, let's put Daenerys on the free move. And we'll back him up. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I can Maybe I can just move him instead. Maybe I can just move him out there. Because then at least, like... At least I can... I can put Daenerys in the money bags to heal him. Maybe that's better. Mm. Yeah, you're not going to hit him that bad. All right, fine. I'll put Daenerys on the money bags. We're going to get a nice heal. Mm -hmm. Boop, boop, boop. One guy comes back. Fi fixes the panic token. And she can make somebody move a bit faster. Let's make uh, these horses move faster. And spook okay. you with that. Cool. Mind games. Mind games. Okay. Um, how far away are we here? We're nine away, right? So if my halberdiers wanted to charge you, they'd have to roll yeah. a four. Mm. Yeah. Whiskey business. Okay. Should I just shoot you with the hound? What do they do? Uh, do really want to do the free charge? Yeah, okay. Let's shimmy, shimmy the hounds forward to and shoot your archers. Um, so they're in range. Let's go activate and get rid of these dice. Right. Pew, pew, pew. They do... What do they need? Threes. So, uh, three, three hits. That's pretty good. With the bastards, boys. Uh, that's no saves, because they Ooh. save on sixes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so because you've got a one in there, they make you um, three. vulnerable. Oh, wow. Okay. Sure. And uh, another morale sure, check. Sure, sure. Sure. Okay. These guys are definitely going to be moving back next turn. Um, that is a that is a fail. Two more dead. Wow. Just dying. All right. That is fine. And good thing you got the healing. They'd be dead. Yeah, they got three wounds left, but being vulnerable. If you make this charge, they're very very dead. Mm. Um. But maybe that's okay. Maybe I want them to die, you know, because then I can kill your commander. So you uh, can't, you can't really charge them, can can't, you? Can't risk him. It's not worth giving away four points. Because for. if you ch if you charge me, I charge you back, mm -hmm. you know, and then your commander's dead. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna shoot you again. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> they get a lot less dice now, but I don't care. Like, what are you gonna do? I think I'm gonna get huh? shot. You're gonna get get shot. Let's do it. Um, three, three, three hits. Okay. Uh, I'm tickling your commander's unit. One dies. Um, boop. Panic. And you're fine. Yeah. Okay, that's these guys' activation done. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to do Pycelle. He's going to do some letters. Sure. So his manipulation and deception will cause you to become weakened. Then because of letters, <laughs> okay. he will place a panic token on you as well um and oh, he'll, wow and he'll draw two cards just making you feel really bad about yourself calling your names hassling. this is it this is the thing this, this is three victory this points is the thing. three victory points objective yep i bet you wish they were dead now i completely forgot about the horses <laughs> one as well shit <laughs> and no one that, took you horses. Would have got three points if you'd put it on there yeah oh shit we both forgot about it yeah, I really wow. wanted to get the, the Cersei, like, on you. Um, How did you get all these on me all of a sudden? Oh, because Pycel gives the weakened. Pycel gives the weakened. The letters gives anything gave you want. The vulnerable. They gave the vulnerable, and then yeah. he gave the anyone. Oh, well played. I played the Good card thinking. to get the panic, 
but then you money bagged the panic token away. So I actually had, oh. I had to put four tokens on them, and then you got rid of one, wow. and that left three. They were afraid! Alright, All right. Uh, so my go. Mm -hmm. I guess we're going to use... Um, how far can these guys go? I think they can go, like, 18. Mm, although it'll slow them down a bit, because the corpse pile takes one off each time they move. So if they move into the corpse yeah. pile with their free move, minus one off the free move, and then when they move again, minus one off that move. Yeah, so they can only go so it's more 11 like... from here. So they can only get to, like, right in front of your face. Mm -hmm. Only. Um, <laughs> Ouch. But that's fine. I think what we're actually going to do here is probably... do it anyway yeah okay we're going to do an unstoppable advance on them oh what does this do plus so, one move and ignore terrain cannot suffer disorderly charges yeah so we're gonna gonna pivot are they declaring a move. charge um, no um, hmm. why would you want to do that because i can get further yeah okay i'm gonna I'm going to counterplot what? it. Oh. Um, oh, okay. No, that's fine. Just had to think about it first to work out what, you were, what your game was. And, yeah, count it. You had to think about the counter... Did you roll? Six. You just counted it. But that's why I wanted Cersei on the crown as well, early on. A lot of my right. cards... Like, I get a re-roll on that if I've got the crown. Well, I'm going to move anyway, I guess. That's a shame. But I was just, just going to... The idea really... Hmm. was to just get close enough to get in your flank so you couldn't shoot me and charge me next turn. Ah. But I guess I'm going to have to... Um, hmm. I'm just going to have to move them up here like this instead. Well, they're going to get shot, but I don't want them to get charged. It's not worth me... It's not worth me. It's not worth me moving right up to you. Do you know what I mean? If oh, I can't yeah. get, if I can't get out of, if you can't get out of arc, you may as well stay out of charge range. Yeah, I thought. I thought if I moved here from twenty one, I would have been able to get like pretty sneakily, mm. you know, out of your charge arc. I was thinking, but maybe not. In any case, I think we'll just go. Yeah, we'll we're just doing a twenty one inch move. That's bananas. I think we'll just have to camp on this corpse pile, which is kind of annoying. Um, but that's what we're doing. Well, it slows me and down as shift. well. If I have, if you have it poking out of your base, charge, then, I, yeah. then I'm You're very to unlikely to charge you. Charge into me. Sure. Job done. You're going. Um, I might move the how it is back actually. Again, again. Pummeled. They're going to do a pivot 180 and then move back five and then pivot. Um, I don't know. Oh, you can just come from any angle. Spooky. Very spooky. Yeah, it's like just a, just charging at you. Okay. I'll do. Boop. All right, sure. Um Oh my gosh. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Uh, I guess we're going to activate I guess I can shoot someone with these guys, but I don't want to get shot back. Not that it really matters. Uh, I guess I just want to stay out of your 14 inches if I do anything. Um, which is tough to do. Hmm. Very tough to do. Tough to do. What's your 12 plus an extra couple? I guess I can sneak over here somewhere, but then there's nothing. There's nothing. I'm just looking if there's any sneaky, <laughs> sneaky locations I can like get a shot off at you and not get shot back. Um. 
There might be. I don't think so. Not quite. All right. I guess I have to wait for you to do something. So um, let's activate these guys. We'll move them. F we'll pivot them and and um, we'll pivot them and move them forward into this gap a bit here. Mm -hmm. Um, with their free move. And I'll just sort of place them kind of, I guess, like around here. Ready to ready to get involved with the mm. fight as it comes along. Spooky. Far enough away to to do some magic but not get hit back. Yeah, something like that. There we go. You'll go. Alright. Okay. Um well, I guess we'll go over here and forward and like pivot a bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, that looks all right. There we go. All right, I think I might do a little bit of trying to do a little bit of sneak here. I don't know if I want to, I mean, charging you is, is an option. Mm. Um, and then getting shot back a lot and possibly free attacked back on your start of your turn. So feels bad, but I think I should definitely move these guys now. So let's move them like this. Um, we'll pivot. We'll move six, uh, well, actually five, I guess, because we're going on the corpse pile. And then we'll pivot again. And we'll march so we're not in your attack. Uh, march up so we're an inch away, mm -hmm. but not in your Ooh, that's in tight. Your I didn't think you'd be able to fit there, but you do. It is you fit snug. very tight. <laughs> Whoops. All right, so you can't charge me. Yeah. Um, unless you move, which you can do, I guess. All right, so that's these guys' activation done. Hmm. And we got the same number of uh, units, which is quite annoying. Well, once I've got these dead, they'll have less, and that'll be make it even more difficult. But it means that the activations are, like, quite tight. Yeah. Yeah, getting like the last move and the first move and stuff is really important. Being able to wait your opponent out. All these kind of games with alternate activations, having like one or two more than your opponent is a huge advantage. It's why those like little dog units are so strong. Uh, like the little, uh, like the direwolf ones. Hmm. Hmm. I should just be moving up or just hold the line but I seem to be winning like the shooting war just... yeah you are you have got more shooty than me it feels like I'm closing in though yeah. but then again you're winning the victory point war that's true you've got to you're going to go up four points on me this turn alone yeah so maybe I'm not not in a rush um maybe these guys can just pull back a bit. Make you make you commit. No need for me to push this. Sure. Um, um sure, sure, sure. Uh in that case, let's just uh fully redeploy these guys over here. Uh, so we'll go like Six inches this way, and then another like twelve inches this way. Okay, that'll put us in shooting range of you, mm. but not too close that it's a pain in the ass. Okay, so I just want to be a little bit closer. So I'll basically, be, be I'll be like. Imagine I did that better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like nine inches away. Yeah. But that's if you fine. want to charge me, you have to go through the court. Oh, yeah, perfect. 
All right. Um, sure, that's the Yeah, these corpse files are causing me more trouble than they are. I thought they'd just, like limit your mobility, but they're actually they're just giving you stuff to hide behind. Uh, right, then the crossbowman, I guess. I need to... Um, I think I need to completely redeploy these. Like if I pivot like here, then move like back. Oh my god, so scared. Just castle up a bit. Well, the um, thing is, these guys can get their free move over here and then whack you in the side. Oh, that's careful. true. Yeah, that is very true. I mean, I go first. You do go first. Um... Uh, hang on, sorry, let me... Oh, this is so fiddly. Is there a way I can just pick them up and put them back where they were? Yeah. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> no, apparently not. What did I... Um, so, is there a way to be... No, you're they're too far away. Okay, this will do. This will do. That's a free That's attack far, next yeah. turn on those guys, which feels yeah. like the right move. Oh, the, of course, I'm so scared of these guys because they got Sundering on them, right? Yeah. And they hit seven dice, almost always hit with Sundering. Plus, you got usually got a couple of cards in there. And these guys have no armor at all. So that's like well, that's the thing. two Sun ranks dead. Sundering doesn't... Um, a roll of a six always saves. Well, no, but they so, got five armor. Oh, yeah, no, it's good against these guys. So against the Sundering your... makes it even worse. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But against it your goes from Archer a third cav. chance to save to basically hardly any save. Yeah. Plus, are you sticking vulnerable or some shit on them? I can't remember. I can't remember. Uh, no, no, the dogs do that. The archers don't. Uh, all right. Is that the end of that round? This is so yeah, positional. This is cagey, this is unlike, isn't it? This is unlike a normal game. But you get so many points. Four points. Yum, yum, yum. First player, thank you. I get rid of a card. Let's get rid of this panicked vulnerable weekend because I don't know if you're even going to kill my guy. Yeah, and I've got lots Whereas of ways of giving out tokens. if I leave it, then maybe you won't kill him. Oh, but yeah, if I leave I it, like... I could farm him for three points a turn, <laughs> which would be amazing. Yeah. That would be awful, <laughs> wouldn't it? I have to definitely get rid of... Because he's, he's not even doing My that God, much. if I did that, you would just charge him into the pikes to get him killed, wouldn't you? Oh, my God, I probably would. I can't, you can't charge, actually. He doesn't have a melee attack. Oh, yeah, good point. Oh God, you can't I wonder if they killed. can charge, actually. I wonder if a unit can charge and just, even if it doesn't have a melee attack. Hmm, maybe. That's an intri I guess that scenario doesn't come up very often. No, where you want to die. <laughs> I could get rid of it. I could get rid of it. I think you have to. I think it's way too risky to leave. It is too, Three points is risky. huge. I, I could grab letters, though, and heal him up. You know what I mean? No, that's true. Like, all right. This one is score of each point if you control the crown or letters zones oh, of the text board. I like round. both okay. of those. You do. So now it's all about NCUs, isn't it? Like two of these cards are about that NCU board. Yeah, they are. So it kind of favours the strategic game. Hmm. Uh, all right. I've not used any fucking, hardly any cards so far. You've used eight tactics cards. I've yeah, I'm burning two. through mine. I want to I wanna use them up. Because the more you use it's them, good though. It's they're good. like the better chance you've got of getting the good ones. Yeah. Um, I'm going right. to chuck these. For some reason, I'm keeping all of mine. I don't know. I don't know why I keep keeping them. They're all... Awful. If I cut, I just use them as soon as I can use them. I use them, and then if I haven't used them, I chuck them and get more ones, unless they're amazing. That's my rule. Yeah, because I I, I, I have great. spent games where I've literally just kept the same hand all game, and it's just not been useful. All right. Well, you can begin. Um, I guess you've got to decide what you want to do. Yeah. Let me try my new cards. Because the letter is now worth two victory points, effectively. Yeah, that's huge. That's what I'm Which thinking. Maybe I should just grab gigantic. that first. Um, before you do. But the letter's not super helpful. Yeah. 
but I don't want to let you... I mean, this game is all about points. I mean, I can lose a couple of units, but, that, you know, killing a unit is not as good as getting a victory point in this scenario. Um... So I think we're going to do it. We're going to get Pycelle on the letters again. So he spends his life writing letters. Um, he's going to make this unit on the flank be weakened. Um, and then he's going to also make Cal Drogo be weakened. Oh my god, this is like checkmate. Whichever <laughs> one you take next, you get three points. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's massive. Like, I can't turn it down. I'm giving you, I'm handing you the initiative on the battle board, but the scheming's going to win me this battle, I think. Um, Shit. And I'll draw two cards. Boop. All right. How far away am I on this corpse pile? I am a whole nine, nine inches. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. This isn't this isn't so hot. This is not so hot. Um So that is that's a six inch So you get your Okay. You get your five inch move off the corpse pile. And then So you're... I'm doing Daenerys on the attack. Putting it on these guys. Oh, okay, and giving him the Drogo. old um, supercharge. He's my leader. His thing is that if he takes a free attack, he can make it into a charge. Okay. I'm also using when this Adriv Adrivat. Adrivat! Uh, Adrivat! Charge! <laughs> when you claim the uh, swords, attach this to a combat unit. While attached, melee attacks become critical and sundering. Oof. Yowzers. Okay, well, I'll do so, um, okay. intrigue and substitute first of all. Okay. Um, so uh, Daenerys loses her ability. Oh, that's disastrous. Um, okay. Cause no rerolls for you. No rerolls and no plus one charge. Much, yeah. That's going to make it a lot harder to get in here. I need to. So they got six. So and I need to go ten. So I actually need two four ups. And it would have been two three ups rerolled. Oh, this is a disaster. This is what you're talking about when you're sifting through all of your crappy <laughs> tactics cards. <laughs> and I've been writing letters as well, so I've been drawing two extra cards a turn on top. Oh, no. Oh. So okay, that's... Okay, so I go... So you move, you get your free mass. move of five. No, I don't, because this you're is the free charge. Oh, it's just a charge action. Yeah, it's not full activation. Otherwise, it would have got in guaranteed. Oh, yeah, you're right. So, oh, wow. So I, I was expecting to just turn this into a disorderly charge, not actually no, fail no, the charge no. completely. So, I get my move distance, which is six. But um, minus one for the corpse pile. Minus one, plus one for the dice. Oof. So, I end up here. Yeah. And I have to take a panic test at minus one. Yeah. Because I failed a charge. Oh, no. Disaster. That is a success, though. Okay. Okay. Oof. Well... Well played. Okay, thanks. They, they still get that card, though. The av Avro card, it's like till the end of the round? Avocado. Av avocado, yeah. Um, sure. Although, is this the round? Oh, no, yeah, yeah, this is it. So e even if they, if they get to fight later in the turn, they still get that bonus. Like, if I charge you and then you activate. Yeah. I get, I get, I get I've still got my, my actual action. Yeah, there, exactly. But... They can still charge next turn. Next, you know, your next activation. Yeah. Um, All right, what's your go? Oh, God, okay, that's spooky. They're super choppy. Maybe I should chop them before they chop me. Um, yeah, they're just going to smash in. Really, unless I do something about it. Um, okay, doggo. Doggo power. They're going to um, They're going to shoot you with bows. With a normal activation. Yep. Um, take this, Carl. Carl. Four hits. Okay. Which was all of them. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Uh, one save. Mm -hmm. So three dead. Okay, and because you got a one on your saves, you get um, vulnerable. Vulnerable, yep. Right, Which now it's perfect. Perfect, because we're about to charge in now. So I'll roll my charge distance. Um, 
Oh, I should only roll one dice. I'm sorry. That's, I don't know why I'm rolling two. Just don't roll a one. Oh, you're not charging through a quartz pot anymore. Yeah. They're in. Um, so, charge, pick up, into the... Oh, God, I've moved them in. There we go. Front, and slide them over that away. As far as I can uh, go. Yeah, you could either go can I do that? full or half. But at the edge of the board's in the way. Does that mean I have to yeah, go full? I think, I think you either have to go... F I think if you if you can't go one of the others... Yeah. Okay. You, I don't... I'll just go. I don't think if you... I don't think you can go a quarter, three quarters on. Basically. No, I was just trying to go as hard, like as far as I could without going off the board. But um, I'll just go... I don't door. know if you can do that. That's all right. Maybe you can. Don't, don't know if it really matters. That's an intro I'll look that up in the rules. Um, I don't know whether I'm cheating. Me neither. But I don't think I, it, I don't think it really affects anything. So they had to use their order to do that. Where's the order button? Uh, there we go. Boop. Um, oh, that's good to know that you can't shoot and charge again this turn. Um, yeah, exactly. Even if I give them another free go, somehow they're not. They can't do it again. So in combat, they get six attacks on threes. Uh, Very scary. And they can re-roll the misses because of the charge. So that's five hits. Okay, cool. I need to roll five, s five, five ups. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Just okay, pause yeah, for a pause. second. Yep. All right, that's one successful save, so four dead. Oof. Um, but you can make me re-roll that if you no, want. No, I'll keep the token on you, I think. Sure. And then um, I will do panic at minus one because the quartz pile, oh, yeah. which I failed. Oh, God, what's Three dead. Oh, my God. Uh, well, you're vicious as oh, well. Oh, vicious as well, yeah, for another minus two. And you're scared of dags. Pile, so, it's, so it's a minus three, which and that's an, I need to roll a nine on that. Oh, God. Yeah, tough. So there's there's two wounds left on that unit. Wow. And they're weakened and vulnerable. Jeez. <laughs> and that's your commander, so he's worth four victory points. Yeah. <laughs> not going super good over here. <laughs> no, it's really not, is it? Jeez. But it's not over yet. No. Um, um Okay. Man. I don't want to backseat you, but it might be worth just using his activation to run away. Why? Four points, man. Well, but what else are you going to do to him? You're going to have to charge in here, right? And if you do that, I'll charge into you. Like, well, that's true. Then it's just a trade, isn't it? Yeah. I can... Um, I can heal him. I can heal him up, but not a lot. Uh, doesn't really make that much difference. Better off, I'm better off just leaving it on that side for now, I think, and doing something on the other side. I think I should charge these screamers into your mountain boys uh, before you get a chance to react. Mm. So let's see if I get a disorderly charge on that. Uh, oh, which, I, which I rolled a good dice for. All right. Well, I don't think it, I don't think it's the dice that have been screwing me this game, honestly. Um, I might put myself out of line of sight here. If I, oh, I don't know. I don't think I can. I think you can still. Yeah, I think I can still see you there. Yeah. Um. Oh well. That's but maybe I maybe I won't go that way. Then maybe I'll go this way. So I'm closer to you. Yeah. Mm. Um. And then I'll get seven die. Oh no, I also get uh when a friendly combat unit successfully charges. Um. I can use. I could use Blood of the Dragon. Uh, attach this card to that unit till the end of the round, sure. So it can't be I can't be panicked and automatically pass all panic tests. Oh. Cool. Which is which is a which is a useful thing to be. Mm. On this side of the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's attack you in the flank seven times. Um, oops. One more. Okay, you can re roll uh, the two misses. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Two still misses. Five hits. Okay, you can. Your guy gives you sundering, right? Your leader? 
Uh, yeah. So I'm seven on five. No, seven on sixes, because I'm in the flank as well. Ouch. Fought it. And then the panic check. Um, oh, sorry, what did you say? You have uh, Sundering on your squad leader, right? No, no. The Screamer oh, Co? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Sundering plus, plus flank. So what's your armor anyway? Three plus? Four plus. Oh, okay. So, yeah, sixes. And I think I've just failed my panic. I rolled a five. Um, so I, I lose about four, four more guys. Oh my god. Ow. I think I should have been putting some vulnerable tokens on you as well, because I've got outriders on these guys that I keep forgetting to use. <laughs> oh god. But Although they didn't shoot last turn, did they? It doesn't really matter. Um, no, I think it's on activation, though. So they, oh, they just keep right. dropping... Oh, they can just mark like the target. To, yeah, they're supposed to be dropping... Dropping markers on down. On oh, wow. It I doesn't, thought that's just it doesn't shot. make much difference, especially when I can kill um, four of them with a panic test. The panic tests in this game are pretty mm, nuts. They are crazy. Uh, I think high morale, very, very good thing to have. All right, so this was these guys' activation. They're done. You're good. God, these Mentimens could die right now. Um, but I want I want these points. I want your points. Um, so... Uh, So it's, the only one that's not worth points is the money bags. Yeah. So I'm going to grab Cersei on the crown, but I'm also going to play oh, um, orders to destroy. Um, oh, replace that with a oh, it's Gregor's special card and, yeah. for the free melee attack. Well, you could you could just make me take the panic test. I might just die immediately. Yeah, but if I attack you, a panic test at minus four plus the corpse <laughs> pile is a. T I need to roll a ten. It's true, but I, with the dogs, it's a, it's an attack and a melee, melee and, a, and a morale, isn't it? It's true. Yes, it feels there more is a guarantee. Like it's, it's using well, a this card. This is why I didn't bother wasting the retreat on them because I felt like if I was just going to waste the retreat, you would just I just zap them with the morale. Oh, maybe I should have attacked back here. Well, fuck it. I think this is going to be game over if you kill my commander, which you are. It's going to give going me a to, big lead. And get four points from this. That's that's eight points. You'll be on 13. <laughs> yeah, jeez. That, will that actually win me the game? Is it 13, yeah. 12 to win, I think? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Holy moly. Um, well, let's give them a go. They get plus two... Um, uh, plus two dice. It's all about the intrigue and subterfuge. Yeah, the cards That's what it did have been it. strong. The non-combat and the intrigue. card draw. If it, if it hadn't cancelled Daenerys, I reckon I would have got in there and attacked chopped you, them and right attacked up. again. Yeah. And then I would have been able to move down your flank. And Yeah, that's huge, this, actually. This side's doing fine. If Daenerys... You know, if I pincered you... Oh, God, yeah, my right flank's going to collapse. Because this order is so scary and strong, you know, with the double... The charge and the everything against my guys it's devastating yeah when you've got no armor oh. they, they cut through you but yeah if you'd charged me um you'd have let they, they've got like no armor at all these dogs they've got a six up save so um you'd have killed most of them and then with your f f follow-up attack you would have wiped them out literally yeah that one well, card think, has flipped this side of yeah. the battlefield i think well do you want to roll your dice to see if I d i'm dead uh, yeah. if I, because that is actually the game if you kill them i need to roll a lot of sixes Fives and sixes, and then a successful panic test at minus well, five. Well, with Cersei and Vicious and <laughs> Corpse Pile. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, the Corpse Piles. The Corpse Piles are so brutal when you're trying to fight against... Um, at six Fight hits. against morale. Yeah. How are you rolling eight dice? Uh, the card gives me plus two dice. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so I'm have to make six saves. I didn't even know. I don't even know what Gregor's cards are. They're pretty smashy. A free melee attack. Oh, look! I saved. I saved them all. Oh my god! You only one got through. Okay, now I need to roll a eleven. Oh, no, no, you're vulnerable. I'll use your vulnerable token. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, I'm dead. Uh, GG. Well, that was a good game, Ben. Oh, but uh, hang on, before that, it, I just want to say, I'm also going to play Overrun. Um, so instead of right? manoeuvring after killing you, I can make a free charge action with plus two to the distance. Well played. <laughs> and just go smashing into that unit of one archer. 
Yeah, give me roll roll it. Give me a charge roll. I'll try I'll anyway. See what that looks like. Because uh, the corpse parlor got a roll. Oh, I don't know. I've got to get them all out before I do it. Um, no, no, no. You don't have to go through the corpse pile. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. You can yeah, pivot I could just hit you to in the attack front, me without you? going through it. Yeah. Okay. Let's give them, give them that. So they're... Oh, it's three plus my move of five. So eight. Eight enough? Nope. <laughs> I fluffed it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would have... That would be fine, I think. They would have just gone. I, I don't think the the panicked, vulnerable, weakened one guy <laughs> left outrider is going to have much to say about that. Oh, you played. You Ben loves to play the victory points, and you played them well. I I, I should have. I sh but also, this is a bit of an unfortunate scenario. Oh where God, yeah. These two came up at the same time, and you could just grab that. Grab that middle piece, guaranteed. I should have kept points. the panicked one. I should have got rid of the. Should have got rid of this, turns out. Or the commander one. <laughs> oh, I don't know, but then I would have just left that damaged unit with all its tokens on it and got three points off that. I could have healed it a bit, but then you would have just put them back on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, disaster, Ben. Disaster. Ooh. Yeah, I turns got outplayed. out, best way to fight the Dothraki is not to fight them at all. Um, I got very outplayed. All right, well, thank you, everyone, for, for joining us. Um... That was that was a, a brutal beatdown. We didn't even get to see some of your units. The, the Mouse's men never fought. No, nope, Crossbowmen didn't fire. The Halberdiers, Halberdiers never fought. didn't fight. The Crossbowmen never. <laughs> you did you never fired a single shot. These crossbows. No, in fact, my dogs. My dogs were the only unit that fought. <laughs> that was it. It's such an interesting game. Yeah. Like it was all. Maybe if you'd had a third NCU instead of this, I oh think my this God, is why yeah. people. So many people run the third NCU because you can get into these like stalemate games where no one wants to fight. Mm. But the NCUs can do all this extra shit. Do all the work. I mean, it comes. It's kind of luck of the draw on the objectives in this scenario, right? Because some of these objectives have got like nothing to do with the NCUs, right? Some of the, a lot of them are just like um, hold objectives. Yeah, immediately score this if you destroy an enemy controlling an objective, I guess. is this. There's one. Yeah, and then there's but this one no for one was really kill them. units. You need a balanced yeah. force. I think that's, that's what it means, right? You have to be able to score handle any... mission if three... Yeah, I mean, and that's that's the real thing, isn't it? Building a balanced force. Like, Pycelle's so strong because he can put the weakened tokens on everyone, mm. which feels like just such a winning move. And the, the, what, the main reason I take Pycelle is because he's only three points. He's like a really cheap NCU. With a really powerful effect. Because mm. Weakened can be more effective than this sometimes, you know. Yeah, like, Weakened can just take the edge off a charge. Suddenly you you charge in and instead of doing like five hits, six hits, you've only done like two hits. Well, it's because you get to do the re-roll after the re-roll. So the charge is like, you know, yeah. everyone gets their charge and they do their re-roll and it's almost always hitting like all seven of their dice. And, and you're like, then well, you weaken them and chuck it like, back. Well, you hit these ones, did you? I guess, I guess you're now going to do only one you know, or two hits. Two hits instead of... Instead of six, yeah. So, mm. it, so it really is a, a powerful token, um, especially if you've, your force is quite defensive, which I guess it is, you know, because mm. you've got the two ranged units here, which yeah. is very defensive. Um, plus, the mountain men can move quite quick; they can get up there. Yeah, I'm a yeah. Bit the mountain men. I'm not a huge fan of them, but I've, I've been using the Lannister guardsmen a lot recently, and they're they're only movement four, and it's very slow. So. I, I think that's why I want to try out the... Well, I mean, the main reason I tried them was because I wanted to go on theme and all of the Mountain's cards only really affect Clegane units. So I wanted yeah, to... and you want to be flexible. Yeah. Oh, Ben, it was, it, was, it was an absolute textbook takedown. I mean, you got, what, four points for killing that unit, three points at the end of the round for having both, and then one point for that. I'm getting currently zero or maybe even one point <laughs> <laughs> God. well yeah Illyrio could grab a point couldn't he but even even if i'd even if i charged you with the commander and just worked my way through i still would be massively behind on points um but i felt like my hand was forced uh i, th I felt like my only option was to table you um and like just try and yeah, cut do down a, a big all-out assault on my last sort of go well it just goes to show you know, you know once you get once you charge in you are cutting my units down like the if you'd been able to get get into me quicker, could have done a lot more damage. Like these these mountains men, just one attack and they're nearly dead. Well, they, you did fail the morale though. To be fair, yeah, but all my units morale got bad morale. Big, they're all morale seven, punish. I think. Crossbowmen at eight, mountain men are seven. How about is a six? So none of my you've guys got have a good lot morale. of you've got a lot of cards that let you 
fix me out. Oh my god, you've only got five cards left. Yeah. Wow. Look how many well, I've got. Fifteen. <laughs> Fifteen cards left. Well, it's I, was I thinking... should have I should have chucked my hand. But oh. I thought I'd be able to get a charge off fairly fairly soon. You know? mm. Well those the cards you did play were good cards, worth holding on to. Um Yeah. That's why I always well, burn I... through my cards looking for the counterplots. It's so important. Yeah, maybe I should have should have digged Dug, dig and dug and a bit for some other stuff, but well, I took letters three times in a row, so that was six extra cards that let me draw. It's a strong, it's a strong pick. I, I knew I just wanted the the moves and the, the to try and be and the sneaky, but it didn't work. My sneakiness was not was get got crushed by the brick wall of Lannister. Um, all right, thanks everybody. That's our that's that's our game. Mm, thanks we'll for see watching. You all next time, goodbye. Bye.